Hi people, I saw this very intriguing Instagram post done by Statista, ranking cities based on its 5G speed. I thought Seoul must be on the list, but instead, Jeonju is on the list at the very top with the speed of 415 megabit per second. That is extremely surprising to me, so I decided to go down to the city and figure it out by myself whether it is true. And for those who do not know about Jeonju, and I guess most of my audience don't know the city, it is located about 220 kilometers or 136 miles south from Seoul, and well known for its food, which is bibimbap. It's such a yummy Korean cuisine with many ingredients on top of rice. I hit a popular restaurant during my travel, and it didn't disappoint me at all. The city has 650,000 residents, so it's not a mega big city, but it's not a small town neither. For our test, I went to a tourist destination and it was a traditional Korean village, and I found a nice place to do the test, so here we go. I brought 5 devices with me, and the first device that I'm gonna do is Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. It has huge display for smartphone and offers a decent value for the money in the second hand market. And as you can see, I am really, really in Jeonju and I made two days travel just to shoot this video. I'm quite a curious guy. Without further ado, let's begin the test. To be completely honest with you, I didn't expect a lot for today's test because Jeonju is not a mega high tech city. And the Instagram seemed very fishy. So I came down here to sort of debunk it, however, I was surprised again. Because the numbers are passed 1 gigabit very easily. This is very impressive. I mean, I have no other words to say other than it is fantastic speed. We got 1338 for downloading and 103 for unloading with Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Next device that I'm gonna do is iPhone 12 Pro. I'm using this as my daily driver and I'm really happy with the overall experience that I'm having with it. And right off the bat, it breaches 1 gigabit uh, mark and it is almost hitting now 1380, yeah, something like that. And maybe it's going to hit 1400, yeah, now it hit 1400. And it eventually uh, hit 14.33 for downloading and for unloading it is showing 127 right now. Yeah, it hit 129 for unloading. S20 Ultra was already very fast and iPhone 12 Pro did even faster speed than that. And this is truly amazing. I have done a lot of 5G speed tests but I haven't seen this kind of speed before amazing. The next phone that we're gonna do is a bit of an old school. It was my father's phone and it's a Samsung Note 10. It is not a 10 plus but a regular Note 10. So it is a smaller one. I have been keeping this because phones these days are getting big and Note 10 has a proper phone size but still with all the crown jewels that flagship smartphone has to offer. It took some time to break the 1 gigabit barrier for Note 10, but it eventually got there. However, it is significantly slower than two previous smartphones that we tested. Maybe this hinges on the fact that Note 10 came out more than two years ago. It was launched in August 2019. And the result for Note 10 is 1140 for downloading and 80 for unloading. That's not too bad for a two-year-old smartphone. I mean, people began to talk about 5G like two years ago, and Note 10 is one of the only 5G mobile devices. It is noticeably slower than S20 Ultra and iPhone 12 Pro, but it's not snail-like slow. I'll give my hats off to Note 10 for this. For the next device, we're gonna come back to modern era's device. It is Galaxy Z Flip 3. It is a third generation of photo device from Samsung. 
It got me when it was launched and I instantly fell in love with this for its design. It looks cool. Except for its short operating time, which is even shorter than my expectation, Z Flip 3 is a good looking foldable phone. And Z Flip shows very fast speed right from the get go. It goes beyond 1 gigabit very easily and it is showing even more crazy speed by going over 1500 mark. This is really amazing. And it turns out when you use more up to date device, you get faster speed. Yeah, sure, of course. What kind of comment is that? Anyways, uh, Z Flip 3 did 1550 for downloading and 135 for unloading. That is the fastest speed that we have seen so far. Amazing. Last but not least, I have one more foldable device from Samsung. It is sort of big brother or big sister to Z Flip 3 and that is Z Fold 3. It is heavier, chunkier and larger than Z Flip 3 in every way. I was wondering, just because it is bigger than Z Flip 3, is it going to be faster than Z Flip 3? Let's find it out. Just like Z Flip 3, Z Fold 3 is also very fast. It easily speeds up beyond 1 gigabit per second and as I expected, it is faster than Z Flip 3. Not by a huge margin, but Z Fold 3 is faster than Z Flip 3 by 30 megabit per second. To conclude, Z Fold 3 did 1580 for downloading and 97 for unloading. This is the fastest speed that we have seen today and it is the fastest 5G speed that I've seen so far anywhere. Z Fold 3 is the champion today. Wow! I did every devices that I prepared today, but I have a funny idea pops up my mind, and that is, would I get a faster speed if I unfold the fold? The simple way to figure it out is, just do it. I have unfolded the fold and again it is super fast right from the beginning, breaching 1 gigabit and hit 1578 for downloading and for unloading it did 97. This result is almost identical with the folded fold. There is no meaningful impact in terms of internet speed whether you fold the fold or unfold the fold. Oh boy, how many fold did I say in one sentence right there? Like we've seen today, 5G speed in Jeonju is really fast. I'm really surprised with today's test. The top speed of 1580 Mbps that is recorded by Galaxy Z Fold 3 is unprecedented. And this is not a lab test that is done in controlled area. I'm not using any specially designed device to get the fastest speed possible nor paying for a dedicated data plan that blocks everyone else except me. It is a real life situation test in uncontrolled wild real world. As a matter of fact, it was my second visit to this city so I did the test at a random place that happens to be a tourist destination. So it is a true speed that any end consumer can enjoy. And for your information, the current 5G service in Korea is using sub-6 band. And there are millimeter wave service areas, but they are very few and Jeonju is not one of them. I guess maybe we could get even faster speed than we got today in those very few millimeter wave service area. I think today's test shows that Jeonju offers extremely fast 5G speed and the fact gives approval to the Instagram post that started this video. And shout out to Statista for bringing me an idea. One thing I want to add is many people left comments on my internet speed test videos. And especially for today's video, if you are living in the cities on the list, Please share your experience on 5G speed or internet speed in general. I really want to hear from my audience and it will be very much appreciated. Please leave a comment down below and 
I will be really happy and that's all I have to show you today and thanks for watching and thank you for your time ciao